chat. What the fuck is going on, man? Niggas tell me you down there at the Fat Burger fighting over Titan. Now that's T.I. bitch, man. You gonna cause these niggas to buy more guns in Atlanta. No, no, I'm your brother. I'm gonna tell you like it is, chap. Your uppercut ain't gonna mean shit when niggas start shooting. What? Man, why you keep going back to what she look like? I wouldn't care if the motherfucker fell out of beauty pageant. It's his bitch, man. No, no, you listen to me. You ain't never shot a motherfucker day in your life. You 150 pounds. You ain't no gangster. You's a boxer. Woke up, I looked at the computer. The computer said, Floyd said, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Nelly fucked your first baby mama, Melissa, then took your fucking fiance. Say fuck that nigga. To say, like, as soon as you get confused, he gonna go, Okay, 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 Vi. Um, just call, call out. Right. It gets confusing, and then he just goes, just call out. Yo, yo, so check this out, folks. 50 Cent, you know, the dude that's tight with Floyd Mayweather, and kind of in the mix with T.I., too. They even did some business together. These guys were on the same come-up train around the same time. Well... Fiddy was spilling the beans during an interview, and he completely clowned T.I. after Floyd smashed his wife. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, I think that was fine. You Did know, you every time needs a little something attention, mm -hmm. especially when she ain't getting it. If you ain't giving it, she's gonna go, what? To get it somewhere else. Yeah. He was dishing on why Floyd went to some extreme lengths to mess with T.I.'s wife, Tiny. And why, honestly, it looks like T.I. and Floyd are never gonna bury that hatchet. Things got way too physical, went over the edge, and there's a bunch of other stuff tangled up in that mess that people might not even realize. In Floyd Mayweather's version of events, he recalls the incident as follows. While he was in New York, T.I. approached him outside a jewelry store, suggestion they step aside for a quick chat. Mayweather remembers T.I. bringing up rumors of women trying to create trouble between them, specifically mentioning T.I.'s wife, Tiny. Mayweather emphasizes that he had never posted any pictures of her on social media and made it very crystal clear that there was no romantic involvement whatsoever. Skipping ahead to Memorial Day weekend in Las Vegas, Mayweather recounts the evening when Tiny and Shakina attended his party. Initially, everything appeared to be harmonious, with everyone even heading to a strip club to enjoy themselves. However, things took a turn when T.I. suddenly showed up, insisting they talk again. Mayweather asserts that he firmly told T.I. to back off and not engage in disrespectful behavior in front of others, reminding him of his own background as a, you know, professional boxer. Mayweather recalls the exchange of words escalating, leading to a physical altercation and a chaotic scene that ensued, including the tossing of some chairs. T.I. threw the first punch at Floyd, and it turned into a wild chair-throwing brawl right there at Fatburger on the Vegas Strip. No one's exactly sure what sparked this whole thing in the first place, but next thing you know, T.I. takes a swing at Floyd. And that's when their massive bodyguards jumped in to play Peacemaker. But it was a little too late. Chaos took over, and chairs went flying in an all-out brawl. Mayweather gave his two cents on the situation in an interview that he did sometime after the whole thing went down. And he went on to say, I'm a fighter, right? And um, my beef is with other boxers. That's my beef. I think that, you know, I think that People should stay in their lane. Meanwhile, T.I. only got one thing to say. He said, He's a pretty bro, quick dude. That's let impressive. Let me tell you this, brother. This is one thing I would go on record to say. Whatever did happen, if anything did happen, he may be used to talking after his fights. Where I'm from, we don't talk after ours. Snitches get stitches, man, right? I didn't say that. No, you okay. did. All right? <laughs> I, I said mean, that. No, I just said what I had. No, it's you. And now ain't nothing there to say. Okay, I got you. I got now you. Now ain't nothing there to say. You know what I'm saying? I moved forward, man. I just know I'm pretty as a girl, man. <laughs> I can take a picture 10 times over. All jokes aside, man, when it comes to Floyd, man, you think you guys will ever be able to squash this? Like, I don't even know what they're here to squash. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't uh -huh. even know. I don't even know. Charity boxing I went, matches? I don't even know. In I don't even know, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? All I know is, man, if I got an issue with anybody about anything, I'm going to approach him and we're going to handle it. And that's just that on. Uh, okay. so, to be honest with you, as soon as I heard it, I'm like, what? What happened? They was like, nah, I saw your man. They got into it and they all punched him in the face. I said, what? Mm -hmm. Punched him in the face? Nah, man. He's way too rich for this to mm -hmm. be happening. How you punched in the face? And they go, nah, I just came to, came to see him and punched him in the face. But I, I already knew that he kind of had that energy towards like, but, but Tiny mm -hmm. going already, so Tip kind of was feeling like there was something going on between them two. And he shouldn't, he should have distanced himself from it. From the beginning. Especially if he's a woman. I know it's your wife and me, and mm -hmm. you got those type of feelings. So I was like, oh no, hold up. He way invested in this. Yeah, yeah. I'm away from him. Right. I'm, even if she's high, friendly, I'm gonna go like this. Hey, how you doing? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get away from her because I, I know what, what, what that is. You, you think T.I., that's what T.I. was trying to tell him? Like, look, I know she probably not going to stay away from you, but you need to stay away from her. Right. But n- not even that. I, well, even if he, if whatever, they're going through something and she goes over there because you know you feel like it. Yeah. Like, say you addressed it. Yeah. So, uh, and she goes, now that she knows Charlamagne, when she got, I come around, she come hanging around me and... Once I'm aware of it, I'm not going to let her do that. Yeah. Right. You're not going to be a pawn. Yeah, I'm not going to be a part of that. Just in case you're not catching Fiddy's drift because he's keeping it cool, let me break it down for y'all. So T.I. and Tiny were having their ups and downs in their marriage, right? Where on the street is that T.I. was doing some cheating on Tiny. Now, in the middle of all this drama, Tiny decided to stir the pot a little bit and started messing with Floyd Mayweather to rile up T.I. You know, make him feel a little jealous. So what Fiddy is saying is that Floyd should have been smart enough to realize that T.I. and Tiny were going through some tough stuff. If he saw Tiny using him to play mind games with her hubby, he should have backed off. I mean, Tiny's a married woman, and Floyd should have respected that. He should not have let himself been a pawn in her game to make her man jealous. And that's why we're talking about this clip from T.I. and Tiny. You didn't had your when you was out with this mother dude that you know I don't with. Out what? You know. I went out with them Man, man, as it a don't couple. matter. You was at his house. What you mean? You was at his house. You in his house. We you went in his house. I know which we time. Went together. And they went on to say that you were with a dude that you know I'm at odds with. Uh, excuse me, but you were with a girl that you met through me. Is were it you any at better? Odds with Is that any better? Yeah. But if I hire you to do you a job at... and you come here and you go to see my man, yes, I'm in odds with you. Darling. So, Fiddy sent thinks that the beef between Floyd and T.I. goes way back to Floyd's beef with Nelly. See, Floyd had a problem with Nelly because he believed Nelly had a thing with his first baby mama. Now, Floyd eventually let that slide, but here's where it gets a little spicy. After Floyd dated a woman named Chantel Jackson, he and Miss Jackson split, and guess where she went? Yeah, you guessed it. She allegedly left Floyd for Nelly. So that's two women in a row that Nelly seemed to snatch away from Floyd, and that did not sit too well with the champ. All right, so here's the backstory on Nelly and Floyd Mayweather's long-standing beef, and trust me, it goes way back. So back in like 2006, Money Mayweather started dating Chantel Jackson, and they were like a power couple at that time. During the time, Floyd went from being a top-notch fighter to a full-blown superstar. Household name, if you will. But as life goes, the good times don't last. Fast forward to 2014, and Floyd and Jackson split on pretty sour terms. Mayweather claimed that it was because of an abortion. Jackson, on the other hand, later sued the champ for assault and some other messy stuff. Now, here's where it starts to get a little interesting. After her breakup with Floyd, Chantel Jackson started seeing rapper Nelly. And for months after that split and lawsuit drama, Nelly and Floyd were taking shots at each other through the media. Now, a while back, the lawsuit between Mayweather and Jackson got dropped, and it seemed like this whole beef was over. And then in a 2014 interview with ESPN, Nelly even said that he didn't have that much of an issue with the boxer. But you know how these things go, man. Sometimes old grudges die hard. What could you tell us about there? Uh, I don't have a beef with Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for me, for the most part, uh, I think uh, the whole thing is misunderstood, you know? Uh, I try to understand where he's coming from, which is a little hard to do. Uh, <laughs> but it's just one of those things where I guess he is who he is. And, you know, now he's one of those people that I don't think uh, likes the word no said to him. You know, and I think if anybody does that, I think that's what, what kind of gets underneath his skin a little bit. But um, I don't know. You know, it's kind of hard talking to a guy who hasn't graduated from high school. I ain't got no hatchet to bury. Now, 50 Cent brings up Ashanti in the mix. He's saying Floyd used Ashanti as a sort of chess piece to mess with Nelly. According to Fiddy, Floyd put Ashanti in a fancy penthouse suite at the Palms Hotel in Vegas just to make Nelly jealous and, you know, to stir the pot a bit. Nelly and Ashanti had their own fair share of ups and downs, and their relationship wasn't without its own challenges. Just in case you missed the memo, Nelly and Ashanti were one of those music power couples that had fans all on their heels back in the 2000s. They kicked off their romance in 2003, dropped some music together, and reportedly had an on and off thing for like a solid decade. There were even whispers of a possible engagement happening down the road. But like many fairy tales, this one hit a bump and came to an end in 2013, with Ashanti feeling pretty let down by the rapper. After keeping their relationship under wraps for like a whole decade, Ashanti and Nelly decided to call it quits, leaving the world with little insight into the reasons behind their split. They didn't make any big announcement about it or anything. And fast forward a year, and Ashanti popped up on Hot 97 to set the record straight, making it crystal clear that despite 
despite the rumors, there was no bad blood between the two. Then, when Meredith Vieira threw out the idea that trust issues might have caused their breakup, Ashanti dove a little deeper into the topic. She talked about how sometimes people's insecurities can lead them to act out of character and mentioned feeling betrayed. She emphasized the importance of growing up and taking responsibility for your actions, not being a coward about it, and knowing yourself better. Shanti made it crystal clear that she's in a different place in her life right now. As for Nelly, well, his relationship status also had its ups and downs. His longtime girlfriend, Chantel Jackson, shared in July 2021 that she and the rapper were no longer an item. She confirmed that when the fan asked about their relationship in the Instagram comments, simply stating, nah, they were just friends. Back in October 2020, Nelly had hinted that he and Jackson were working toward an engagement talking about their shared experiences growing up in the inner city and their mutual drive for self-improvement. Then came the moment during the Fat Joe and Ja Rule vs. battle when Ashanti and Nelly reunited for the first time since their breakup. They were invited on stage to perform their songs with the participants, and Nelly even gave Ashanti a little hug. In an Instagram live chat after the Versus event, Ashanti admitted that she was surprised to see Nelly and didn't know what to expect. Nelly echoed a similar sentiment, emphasizing that he didn't want any awkward vibes or anything. I haven't seen or spoken to him since we broke up. I don't know, it's been six years or something. So I didn't know what to expect. Is this something still there? Is this like, Stop is playing with me, John. I wasn't expecting it, but it was positive. You know, you know Nelly's single now. Yeah, but I ain't, so. Oh, I ain't. <laughs> So it was clear as day that Fiddy's somehow managed to pull all these pieces of the puzzles together. If you ask Fiddy, the tension between Floyd and T.I. really stems from T.I. being tight with Nelly and Floyd having his long-standing grudge with Nelly over women. And thanks to the ever-vigilant Fiddy scent, we've peeled back this onion layers of the jaw-dropping feud between Floyd Mayweather and T.I. It all goes back to those tangled love webs and heated exchanges that played out in the public eye. Who would have thought that Nelly, Ashanti, and some intense history with Nelly's exes could ignite such fireworks? It's very clear the 50 Cent has a knack for digging up the juiciest celebrity controversies and dishing the dirt. With a keen eye for the tangled threads of Hollywood drama, he's the ultimate unraveler of secrets. So as the drama continues to unfold in the world of celebs, keep an ear out for old 50 Cent. You never know when he's going to drop another bombshell about rich and famous people. Let us know what you think about Fiddy's insight down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel for more juicy and interesting news straight from the hip-hop world. As always, you gots to keep it rizzle.